So throughout this unit, we have collected a lot of evidence to understand what has been occurring in Westfield to cause the water to turn brown. Through your evidence collection, you figured out what was causing this brown substance to appear and what it was, rust. We know that there was a reaction between the iron pipes and the fertilizer that was leaking into the water from a nearby farm. However, what we were still feeling a little uneasy about was that there are some atoms that are not in the rust, but are in one of the reactants, our fertilizer. In the last few lessons, we have been trying to collect evidence to understand whether it was possible that these atoms just could have disappeared. However, based on our evidence that we've collected, we know that during chemical reactions, atoms cannot be created or destroyed. Dr. Young went back and made sure that there were, was nothing else in the water samples. Let's take a look at this email we've received. Based on your suggestions, I decided to run some more tests on the water sample I took from Westfield. As it turns out, you were right. The reaction between the iron pipes and the fertilizer seems to have produced another substance besides rust. This makes sense because, as we know, there is no way these sodium and nitrogen atoms just could have disappeared. I hadn't noticed it before because it was dissolved in the water. But once I removed the substance from the solution, I was able to observe some of its properties. So just as we know, when you dissolve things in water like sugar or salt, often it seems like they have disappeared, but they haven't. The atoms are still there they just are in a different form. The unknown substance is a solid yellow powder at room temperature. It has no odor. Based on these observations, I was able to narrow down the list of possible substances to those that share all of these properties. I think the substance is either sodium nitrite or potassium chromate. I'd like you to determine which of these substances is the unknown substance in Westfield's water. I'm sending along an atomic scale model of each substance for you to use as evidence. Once you've identified the substance, be sure to inform the people of Westfield. So we know that there is something else in the water, but we need to make sure that we know what that is because it might be something that is not dangerous or it could be something that really needs to be removed. Thinking about what we know about the reaction, I want you to pause the video for a moment and think about what kind of atoms this other product most likely is included inside of the molecule. Here are some substances that fit the description. They are both yellow, powders at room temperature, with no odor, smell. Which of these substances could be the substance that is in the water in Westfield? Using your understanding of all that we have learned in this unit and all the evidence you have collected in the most recent lessons, it is time to make your final analysis of what has happened at Westfield and what else could be in the water. Here is our reaction with our atom keys to help you figure out what these different colors and symbols mean. We know that the iron pipes reacted with the fertilizer to cause rust. Because we know all atoms have to be accounted for, we went back and looked at the water substance to see if there was anything else in there. Both of these things fit the description of what was found in the water. But which one is it? Using your understanding of atoms and how they change and rearrange during chemical reactions, it is time for you to give your final explanation of what happened to the Westfield water 
and what other substances are there. You guys have done such a great job in this unit, and I'm so excited to read about your summary of what is occurring in Westfield.